Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy and today I'm doing the $100 challenge. This is a challenge that was set up by Ashley and Steven from Henson Home Furnishings. Ashley organized, set it up, made the rules, did all of it. There are 23 channels that are participating in this challenge. The challenge is to find a piece that you can flip for under a hundred dollars. That includes the cost of brushes, it includes your paint, if you're using any waxes, your piece, everything. And I have to say, I am finding this challenge a lot more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I am actually on my third piece that it's just not gonna work. I just picked up a jewelry armoire from someone on Facebook Marketplace. I thought that it was gonna be like, I don't know, a little bit wider, a little bit taller, but it's not, it's super duper tiny. So now I am a little bit lost. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> the first piece that I got was a giant vanity. It was awesome, but it was um, to do the whole piece and give it, you know, really do it justice. It was gonna be $115. Thankfully, my sister-in-law has two pieces for me. She has a dresser and a desk, and I'm going to pick that up today in about two hours. So fingers crossed that I had something to flip because we are down to the wire. Make sure that you check out all the other channels that are participating in this. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below because there are so many, they're all super talented. I've checked out, I've binge watched everybody's videos. They're all amazing. Now I am going to brainstorm and see what I can do with this. Here's the desk for my sister-in-law and I think it's perfect. It's gonna be a great piece for this challenge. Here I'm using my sanders. I'm using my mouse sander for that ledge and then I'm gonna use my orbital sander for the top. I've decided that I'm gonna paint the top so I'm not gonna sand everything off. I just wanna get rid of a lot of the chips and gouges. Then I take it back in the house and I need to remove all the hardware so I can clean it up. Now we need to clean our piece and I'm using Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. There are two big reasons to make sure that you thoroughly clean your piece. You wanna clean every single part of it. And the first reason is because, well, we don't wanna be gross. That would just be disgusting if you had a dirty piece and you painted over it. Number two, and it's the biggest one, is because you wanna make sure that your paint adheres to the piece. And if there's dirt, grime, oil, or anything like that on it, your paint is not gonna stick and all your work will be for nothing. When I'm done washing it, I go in with another rag just with some water and I clean all that cleaner residue off because again, if we leave that residue, then our paint won't adhere properly. Now I'm gonna prime my piece and I'm using Dixie Belle's Boss. Boss is a stain blocker, it's an odor blocker, blocks the tannins, um, it's really great and I want to use it in white for this piece because the wood is so dark, the color I'm using is pretty light and I have a lot of unevenness at the top so I'm just going to cover my whole piece with two coats of boss and I just wait for it to dry in between coats. I don't wait a really long time, I just wait about I would say a half an hour and then I apply my second coat. Now the top just looks super crazy because I had to really use my sander. Um, it was a child's desk, so of course, you know, with their pencil or pen, they were really pressing down super hard. So there was tons of gouges and things like that on it. So I tried to sand them out as best as I could and I got most of them out. But that's why I really wanted to use this primer, just to kind of even it out a little bit before I apply my paint. And for the base of the desk, I'm using the color Sea Glass by Dixie Bell. It's just a really, really pretty minty kind of color. And here I am painting away and I've made a huge mistake. I forgot to fill in my holes, my hardware holes. I needed to fill them in with Dixie Bell's mud before I started painting, but I wasn't thinking and I just went ahead and started painting. So now I need to use the mud. 
So I stopped where I was at and I stopped everything I was doing. It was nighttime anyway, so I just applied the Dixie Belle mud and then I let it dry overnight. And I come back in the morning with a 100 grit sanding block and I just wanna sand the um, mud nice and smooth. Now when you're sanding the mud, I always like to check the holes. If the hole has a little bit of an indent, then I will go back and add just a teeny tiny bit more mud. Usually the holes come out pretty flat, but sometimes they shrink and there's an indent. Now when you paint over that, it will show, so you wanna make sure to fill that indent in. Now the bottom is painted again. I did a second coat and I wanna go up to the top. So I'm gonna use one ounce of sandbar. These little containers I have measure, so it says where four ounces is, and this is about one ounce. So I'm gonna start and see what I can get done in one ounce. And as usual, I'm using my water mister because not only does it help reduce brush strokes, but it also helps you get a lot more out of your paint. You still get great coverage, you just don't have to use as much paint. This is what I have left over after one coat. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry and I'm gonna to have to add another ounce. There's just not gonna be enough with all that unevenness. So I don't even add an ounce, I'll be honest. It's kind of just a scoop. And that second ounce does the trick and I'm completely covered on the top. Now I'm gonna use a redesign with Prima Transfer called Morning Peonies. And these are the little transfers. They're only $12.99 for the whole packet. I just start by cutting out the pieces that I wanna use and sort of lining them up and figuring out how I want it to all be. Then you just take the backing paper off and stick it on like a sticker. Now for these little transfers, they don't provide a stick, but you can use a stick from another transfer or a credit card or a popsicle stick, any of those will work. With the stick, you just wanna rub it on. And when you're rubbing, it's coming off of the transfer paper and then it'll be stuck onto your piece. You just wanna carefully lift that transfer paper and voila, it is on your piece like a sticker. The next step is to take a sanding sponge and carefully go over your transfer to make sure that there's no bubbles. If there are any bubbles in your transfer or your transfer is not on all the way, then it, you'll have problems and it will come up. So make sure that you go over it with that sanding sponge. It's a really important step. There, I don't know why, but I didn't record that part. Now I just continue and I add transfers wherever I think that they will look really pretty. Now sandbar is dry, so I'm gonna go in with a wash and I'm using fluff for this wash. I'm only using one ounce and that's really all I had left. Then I add the water and this is about equal parts. I added one ounce of fluff, then you just give it a good mix and there's your wash. I get the best results when I wipe away my wash using a lint-free cloth, but you can use whatever you'd like. You could use a rag or an old t-shirt. I just think it, you get the smoothest finish with a lint-free cloth. I decided I only needed one coat of the wash, so I have half of my mixture left. That was pretty good. 
Now I wanna seal my entire piece, the top, the bottom, the drawer fronts, the transfers, and I wanna use two, at least two coats. So I am going to use um, four ounces of the Dixie Belle top coat in satin, and that should cover all of it. But before I do that, I use my 180 grit sanding pad and just go over the top. I usually don't sand in between top coats, but I do sand right before to make sure that my surface is nice and smooth. Top coats can be tricky because they're hard to see on light colors when you're painting light colors. So if you do miss a spot, you can just get it with your second coat. Then I just bring my top coat down and I seal the rest of the piece. And you wanna make sure that you always, always seal your transfer with the top coat. Now finally I add my hardware holes. And the last piece of the puzzle, I add my hardware. And just a reminder of what it looked like before. And here it is after. Be sure to stick around so that we can crunch all the numbers and see if I met the challenge. Okay, so I finished my piece and the challenge is over. Let's crunch numbers and see if I got under the $100. So the sander is $0, tools don't count. The white lightning cleaner, it's $5.50 for the entire thing and I you could use it about 16 times, um, so it comes to 35 cents. So then the Boss Primer is $11.95 for eight ounces and I used about four ounces. So the total for that is $5.98. The water mister, $10.99. The brush I used, I only used one brush and I used the Wooster brush, it's the shortcut brush. That's $5.95. I just cleaned it after each use and then used it on the next color. So the chalk paint in sea glass, the whole entire eight ounce is $12.95. I used four ounces. I did two coats on this, so the total is $6.48. Then the sanding pad comes in a box of 10. The total for the box is $12.59. I used one, so it's $1.25. Then the knobs are, ooh, the knobs were the most expensive. The knobs were $20.99 for eight of them, but they're so pretty. And I only used six of them, so my total for that was, $15.74 and the transfer was only $12.99 that's a redesign with Prima transfer and I only used half of it so I can use the other half on another project but I um, will just say $12.99 and then the Dixie Belle mud comes in an eight ounce container and I used maybe half an ounce I probably only used like a quarter of an ounce so um, I'm going to call that $1.36 because, yeah, the entire container is $10.95. So if I only used one ounce, it would be $1.36, but I used way less and I'll get so much more use out of it. Then I used three ounces of paint. I used two ounces of sandbar, one ounce of fluff. My total for three ounces is $4.83. Then the top coat, a whole top coat of satin, sealer is uh, eight ounces and it would be $13.95 for the eight. I used four ounces. 
I actually had a lot left over. I would say about an ounce and a half, but we'll just say four ounces. And that comes to a total of $6.97. So my total cost for the challenge was $72.89. So I made it under $100. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment. No, let me know what you guys thought about today's video. And be sure to check out all the links in the description box so you can watch everybody else's video. And I will see you guys next week with a fresh furniture makeover. Bye.